Now, within the last few hours, a truce between local militias and the army has come into effect in East Ukraine. Uh, this latest attempt to adhere to September's peace plan has been confirmed by OSCE observers. And we can cross to uh, Roman Kosarev now, who's in Donetsk for us with more details. Um, Roman, what more can you tell us? Well, it's finally quiet here in Donetsk after uh, several weeks and uh, months of uh, shelling. And uh, shelling was still happening here overnight. Uh, local authorities are saying that uh, two people, two civilians have died and uh, a further of uh, five have been uh, wounded and some of them are in critical conditions. But uh, it, it is uh, quiet here for now. This is uh, the sides have finally uh, agreed on a day of silence. We're not sure how long this uh, silence uh, will last, but the sides are are talking. I'm talking about the Ukrainian army officials and uh, uh, representatives of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic and uh, they were overseen by the uh, OSCE and uh, Russian representatives uh, as well. Now once uh, this is uh, lasting, the truce is lasting, the sides should implement uh, the f further of uh, Minsk uh, agreements and uh, the Minsk agreement stipulates uh, that uh, the army should remove heavy artillery to at least uh, 30 kilometers apart from each other and then they should start exchanging prisoners as well and the formula for exchanging prisoners is exchanging everyone for everyone but for now it's quiet and at least no civilians are dying at this point. Okay thanks Roman that's Artis Roman Kosarev there live from Donetsk.